Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are playing in incredible energies. So I just want to come on today and make a, a quick video for you to talk about what's going on, hopefully shed a little bit of light on um, how we can navigate uh, what we're experiencing. Uh, especially because this is not going to slow down anytime soon. This is going to take us right through the solstice on June 20th. Now, the interesting part of this for me is that I felt this gateway aligning um, with the equinox on the 20th for quite a while, uh, but I woke up on the morning of the 20th and kept thinking it was the solstice, which is not until June 20th. I was so rooted in my thinking that it, it, we were in the solstice. I had to keep looking it up and I'm like, why does it say the solstice is June 20th? And then finally it hit me. Oh my goodness, we're in the equinox. It's not June yet, but I'm in June with my energy. And probably many of you are too and don't even realize that you're in June's energy and heading towards the solstice as you're feeling the amplification of these light frequencies that are coming in. So I wanted to take a few minutes and explain some of it and um, hopefully give some clarification as to what's going on. Now, sometimes I will experience uh, some of what is playing out in my physical body. And sometimes it's just uh, an awareness that I have through working with my team in the higher realms, um, you know, through either uh, messages or, um, you know, connect connections, contact a dream state. And then at other times, I see it playing out in the collective around me um, could be, uh, you know, something that's presenting with my uh, friend who shares the house with me, and then other people that I am uh, witnessing this with. And so the first thing that this energy is creating that I'm noticing within the collective experience is a lot of anxiety. And, um, and that is because these energies that are coming through are super duper intensified. And there's no way to really stop that or shut that down. We are in the home stretch of, of like the wake up. Okay. Like this is it going into the 20th. So these energies are very um, focused. We have a lot of solar everything, right? And when there's a shift on the earth uh, and energies are shifting the magnetics of the earth, it affects our field because we are magnetic. The heart is the most magnetic field within our energy body, okay? So we're always gonna feel it in the heart center. That's why sometimes we're feeling anxiety or heart palpitations. Um, and we could feel like, um, you know, we're um, in a state of excitement or anticipation. Well, you know, as I've said before in other videos, all of those energies kind of are aligned together, right? So if we're feeling um, anxiety, we have to ask ourselves, am I feeling anxiety or am I feeling excitement? Because if you're not used to tuning into excitement, you might think that the energy of anxiety is, uh, that the energy that's presenting is the energy of anxiety because you're used to running that story in your head. But if you look at those energies, it's actually one energy that creates both excitement and anxiety. And that one energy gets interpreted by our human uh, mind, if you will, right, as to what is taking place. And it's because we've lived in a very 3D distorted, dualistic playing field, we naturally gravitate towards what is wrong instead of what is right. So it's really important to pay attention to all these energies that we're feeling, energies that are truly anxiety creating energies, or is it that our body is activating excitement and because we are running the lower lack programs, we're going to just believe that it's anxiety. So that's number one. And number two is, um, I know that many of us have shifted sleep patterns again. I could definitely say that is uh, certain within myself. I, for a long time, right, many, many months, many months, 
I was going to uh, going to bed late at night and not able to get up in the morning, which is why I was going to bed so late at night. I just was not able to wake up in the morning. I would wake up feeling very foggy, groggy. And that was really because of the amount of work that I was doing in my sleep state, uh, working through my own clearing of the Akashic Records in the Living Library, and also working on behalf of Gaia because it's one of those secondary jobs that I came in to do, right? And so now what I've noticed is a couple of weeks back, it's shifted for me and I find myself uh, waking up at, you know, like five o'clock in the morning, uh, 5 30, six o'clock wide awake, can't go back to sleep. And which, which is now meaning that by nine 30, I'm feeling like I already need to be in bed. And it's kind of pulling me there because of the work has changed now in sleep state and what we're clearing in sleep state is different. So we kind of have to just honor it. When we're in resistance of it, we find it very difficult to meet it. The shift is the it. We, we find it difficult to meet the shift that we're having um, in the middle and align ourselves to it so we can have a better experience moving through it. So where we're in that resistance to it because we don't like it, doesn't feel comfortable, we're not used to it, whatever the reason is, then we're in resistance to it, creating some form of suffering. And that form of suffering is usually our energy, which becomes depleted because uh, we're not in the flow of it. And we're trying to undo it, uh, go back to the old way because we prefer sleeping later as opposed to getting up early. If we're in flow with everything that is presenting, our journey through this is going to be so much easier. It's only when we get in the way and we want it to be our way. That's the human experience. That is when our human is trying to be in control of what it thinks it needs or what it thinks it wants or what it thinks things should be like. And then we're pushing our higher self to the back burner and bringing that ego forward. And if that ego is forward and our human is trying to run the show, guess where we are? We are unconscious. So we really have to pay attention to that and allow ourselves to be in flow in each moment, um, being present with whatever it is that's playing out in our reality, okay? Now let's talk about the body issues that are taking place because I know many are feeling this. And I did experience it for a day. Um, I cleared it last night uh, because the, what, what happened was, is I had to experience it through an activation so I could understand it in order to bring this information through to you to help you understand it so that you could uh, do a better job navigating it for yourself should you find yourself in this situation. So a couple things going on. Um, back in October, I think it was the 21st of 2020, I had made a post on my Instagram account about uh, scientists finding new salivary glands, right? And they're like, we've never had these glands before. It's this, this person came in for some issues that were bothering them. And then we noticed that they had new salivary glands that must have grown um, that you know, are not normally part of the human anatomy. Now, if you go back years back, I've been writing about this for a long time that we are growing new glands in the body. Uh, part of this, it, you will understand when you're feeling the pain that's on the sides of your neck, especially mostly on the left side, the left side is impacting the vagus nerve and that vagus nerve activation goes up into uh, the brain area, which is, uh, the brain is merging the two halves of the brain, the two hemispheres of the brain merging for the unification process right into that unity consciousness of, um, you know, oneness, right? So, and the vagus nerve also goes down into the lower parts of the body through, I think it runs through the diaphragm, runs down into the hips. And so why this is important to understand about the glands is because if you read that post back then that I shared on my Instagram account, you would have seen that I had written that the uh, organs like the diaphragm and our sacral area are being impacted by these 
um, ascension upgrades, these spirit, the spiritual evolution of our body and our body's infrastructure. Okay. And so what it, what has been happening for years, and again, I've written about this too, because when we have these solar light frequencies coming in, they are bringing through photonic light, which is the light that makes us sleepy. It makes us foggy, makes us groggy. But what photonic light also does when it fills our field is it expands us. And when it expands us, it makes us feel like we're bloated or some people call it a pregnancy belly. And mostly it's in the area that's directly under your breastbone, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, okay? Now that area that's under the breastbone contains the diaphragm in that area, okay? And what I understand from last night, because I was going through some stuff yesterday, is that this is now we are um, in that state of expansion more than ever on the earth plane. And it's important to talk about it again, because at this point now, unlike years ago, when I was writing about it, talking about it, more people are going to experience it now than they did back then. So it needs to be brought up again and um, put out to the forefront. Okay. So part of the experience for this is, uh, in, and some of you will have the neck ache where your, your neck is achy, it's on the sides of the neck, goes right down into the shoulders, uh, right into that upper back, right around, and it might even go up into the back of the head where it's the occipital area, right? Which is where the low, light codes enter the body. Now that area gets um, tender because that area is very uh, important uh, for, our light code activation, okay? And I will tell you from years of experience with that pain that you can roll on a roller, you can stretch all you want, you can get a massage, nothing is gonna help you unless you're integrating those energies, okay? It's very important to just let go, be in flow and just love your body through it instead of getting angry and getting frustrated because that's not gonna help. That's just gonna make it worse because we're in resistance. And when we're in resistance, we're creating pain and suffering, okay? So along with this though, what they showed me is that part of this process of these energies of these frequencies is also creating heart expansion, okay? So in the field of the heart, the field is wanting to expand that heart, the old term was chakra, wants to expand, okay? As we're now being pushed to open our heart more and be in love and unity consciousness and let go of judgment, um, and all of that stuff. Okay. And in the past, it's just felt maybe a little bit like anxiety or heart palpitations. And I know a lot of people have been experiencing that, right? That's when the heart is opening. Why do we get that? We get that because of the magnetic field that's surrounding the heart. Okay. So it's like in our electromagnetic field or toroidal torus, we also have a smaller field that's around the heart area and that field is more magnetic. So when the magnetics on the earth shift, our magnetics in our heart center are gonna to shift too and we're gonna feel it more. So you're, if you're feeling that, sometimes if, you're, if it's not feeling like the anxiety and the heart palpitations, it might feel like what they showed me yesterday and what they showed me yesterday was this intense amount of pressure that feels like a gas bubble, like a gas pain, right? And think about it, it really kind of is because it's photonic light and photonic light fills us up like a, like a balloon, like a helium balloon, right? And it, and it gives us that bloating sensation. And what is it when you have bloating? You have gas, it's a gassy sensation. So it was like this gas bubble right under the breastbone area, okay? And that's because that photonic light that's coming in, traveling down, you know, our spine is a super highway, traveling through the chakras, which, we, which are unified. Um, so it's not just one chakra system anymore, it's a unified system. Traveling down the chakras, it's impacting the diaphragm, it's impacting the heart, it's impacting the, the thyroid, the, the gland that's in the, in the neck area, which is, would hold separation. It's, it's in, you know, we're growing new glands in the throat area. 
we're growing new, new glands down in our sacral area. So it's impacting the sacral area. So wherever we have a gland currently in the old anatomy, as we're moving from the carbon-based body over to the silica, silica crystalline light body, we're gonna start to feel that. So what they were showing me is, is that it might feel like pressure in the heart area, like that uncomfortable when you have a gas pain that you just can't get rid of. And then it will um, go through the body as, as if it was gas. And you might get the gurgling sensations because what's then happening is that plasma, that plasma like that is, is impacting the planet now too, which is like the step above water because, uh, because it's very viscous, right? Plasma is like water, but it's a very viscous um, energy comes through and it wants to clear out our field. So that photonic light that's coming through that's making us bloat and swell and feel gassy is actually bringing all of the distortion that's in our field, all of the lack programs, all of the old belief systems, all of the habits, all of the outdated rituals and routines as we shift into ceremonies, right? And let go of all of the programming and processes that we have lived by is bringing that all to the surface. And so it feels like we're bloated. It makes us very, very uncomfortable. And it's impacting the, you know, everything feels like it's, it's blown up. So it's impacting the whole body as a whole. And so last night, what they had me do so that I could help explain it to you is that they had me um, stretch my electromagnetic field, right? So this requires that we close our eyes and just take some nice breaths and move ourselves into our heart center. And upon moving ourselves into our heart center, um, it allows us then to tune into that magnetic field of the heart and expand all fields, right? Heart center field, as well as our electromagnetic field around us and keeping our eyes closed, closing and expanding into the into our universe or into the quantum field or whatever you wanna call it, right? The field of infinite possibilities. And so if at first you can't imagine your field pushing away from you in all directions, the back, the front, the sides, if you can't imagine that, you can just use your hands to imagine pushing, right? Close your eyes and imagine pushing your field away, pushing your field to the sides and imagine your, the back of your field going away. And they say to do this because what you're doing is, is you're expanding your field, which is gonna take the pressure out of your body, okay? Um, so they were showing me this last night. They actually had me do it because yesterday they gave me the experience of the, of the pressure in the heart center, uh, really, which was felt like I ate something that made me extremely gassy. And then when, when I was doing this meditation last night with them, they were showing me to just keep expanding my electromagnetic field keep spin, spinning it and sending it out, out stretching it as far out into the universe as I can imagine until I become one with everything and nothing, okay? And I am the, the nothingness and the universe at the same time. So that's the process for, um, for helping to relieve this process of uh, the bloating, uh, the gassiness, the pressure, the pain in the body. I guarantee you, if you do this and you use this um, field expansion and you can sit down and do it to any music that you want, if you have your, you know, your favorite meditation music, whatever, um, just expanding your field around you like that, it's going to alleviate the pressure that you're feeling in your neck. It's going to alleviate your headache pressure. It's going to help you with the spine because you have to remember our spine, our bones, right? First of all, our spine and our skeletal structure is our support system. And it tells how we feel we are supported in our life, in our reality. So if we're having skeletal issues, spine issues, right? Bone issues, then it's showing us where we need to work because those are the areas within our 
our realities infrastructure that are not aligned, that are not on a, a higher level, okay? It may still be rooted in that 3D old infrastructure that of the matrix that we're, we're releasing, okay? And then teeth. I know so many people right now are going through it with their teeth. Teeth are another avenue for programming. And so we have to look at everything as the whole as we're having this experience and not separate ourselves out, right? So it's not like, oh, I wish my throat would just stop doing what it's doing, right? That's not what we wanna say. We wanna look at the throat as if it's a part of the whole of us and say, how can I help myself and support myself so that this pain in my neck can be relieved or alleviated? Oh, maybe if I expand my field out around myself, it will help me to feel better in my throat area. And as a result of that, my overall body will feel better because this is ascension. And, and this energy is not gonna slow down. We're heading into solstice with this, right? So we have weeks of this as we're going through this mega shifting in consciousness in humanity, within humanity, all right? And what this is doing is, is this is bringing up personal revelations and also revelations within the collective. So expect that what we're seeing on the earth playing out now is the narrative, expect it to shift again, all right? And we, in order to have a great experience through this, need to be in flow and just allow ourselves to move with whatever is presenting. It is so important to do that, okay? And so one other area that I want to talk about real quick is this whole thing with uh, the shot, the vax, right? And so what I'm seeing with this is that, that narrative, that dynamic of those that are getting it and those that are not getting it is just another way of playing in separation, okay? We need to let separation go. We need to let judgment go. This is why we are in the position that we're in, all right? So one of the things that's most important to remember is it doesn't matter if someone got it, great. If someone doesn't get it, great, okay? Neither is right, neither is wrong. It's a perception in how you look at it, okay? Uh, someone that doesn't get it may be holding the perception, I don't need it. I don't tune into the fear of why it was created, what it was here to protect me from, that, you know, I don't have to worry about the virus, COVID, whatever, right? And the person that's getting it says, I feel as though I have to do the right thing for myself and the rest of humanity, okay? So without getting deeper into that, that's actually a lack program that's playing out um, in that reasoning, in that narrative within them, right? Um, but it's not a judgment that all ties into this separation. And that's why we're seeing this play out because it is like the final phase of separation that needs to come to the forefront so we could see how ridiculous this whole thing is and not feed it in any way, shape or form, not judge another for whether they do or they don't. That would be like us judging another for the color of their skin or for their race or for their heritage or the food that they desire to eat or the car that they desire to drive or the job that they hold, right? All of that is ridiculous. And we have to let that go because that is a part of the program that we run that was built, orchestrated, constructed in that third dimensional matrix, okay? It has no uh, stability in 5D. It has no stability in 5D. It cannot be carried into 5D. It is just part of that programming that needs to be released. That's why we're experiencing this physical discomfort in our field as it, it, it they when I see this, I get the vision in my mind of uh, like someone taking us by the ankles, like, you know, source taking us by the ankles and shaking us, holding us upside down, shaking us and all, you know, habits fall out and all beliefs fall out and lack consciousness falls out and victimhood mentality falls out and judgment falls out. All these things that we need to let go of rituals fall out, routines fall out, right? And then source puts us back on our feet again and says there, now you're in 5D. Now create and 
exist and be without any of that. So now it requires us to be, exist and create in a brand new way, right? Because we can't carry that with us. We can't take it into 5D. It's got to stay behind. So this is the time now to let this all go because we're going to see this narrative start to flip flop back and forth, right? Um, as we're as we're going through these next couple of weeks and you know some of it might be a little challenging for us to watch and some of it might make us very very excited and very happy but the bottom line here is and something that's very very important for everybody to know right and i'm going to close with this is that once we are through this because we are in the age of aquarius and these gates that are opening have a lot to do with this aquarian energy coming through which is the whole golden age thing that i've been writing about for years okay and once we're through this this phase okay we can never go back to those lead ages to the piscean age where we were in such darkness we can never, ever go back to that. It is not possible. It will never be created on this planet ever again in our new earth experience. It will never, ever happen. So we have to let that go. And the only reason we would hold on to that is it's a fear program that's running that. Okay. So please, I urge you to stay present for whatever is coming through. If you do not follow me on Instagram, please follow me there because there are things that I'll share there that sometimes I can get out quickly uh, that doesn't isn't as time consuming maybe as making a video and then going through the process of uh, posting the video. So you're getting information in both places and that's the purpose of uh, my channel and my Instagram. It's to get information out there. Okay. Um, and, and that's why I'm not personally interactive as much because I'm just doing what I came here as my mission to do, which is post to Instagram, post to YouTube, get the information out there so that you can all have, we can have together a better experience in our being us, in our being a collective, in our being unified, okay? So that's really what that's about. So um, hopefully something in this video has resonated with you and I will see you back here on this channel again with my next video. If it did resonate with you and you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you could be notified when I have new videos. If you are an existing subscriber and you have supported me all through, you know, through the beginning of this channel, I am very, very grateful to you. Um, as am I to everybody that tunes in here, whether you subscribe or not, it doesn't matter. I am sending you lots and lots and lots of love, lots of love. Uh, whatever transmission is coming through me. And I know some of you have mentioned to me about the fact that you see a huge white uh, aura around me. Um, that's the codex that's coming through the Christed timeline, um, that Christ codex that's in my field. So that is always offering a transmission to you. It's, it's our job to take it in. So if you want a little extra energy um, update, upgrade for yourself, please feel free to take it in just by allowing yourself to be a good receiver. Um, but mostly just know that I love you. I'm grateful to every single person who tunes in here, sending you all love, uh, sending you huge hugs. Thank you for uh, sharing. If you share this video, people really need this information because people are struggling right now. And I'm, I'm trying to give uh, a tool or a technique that could best support uh, whoever is having uh, a challenging time. Okay, so I will see you again soon. Have a wonderful whatever it is that you're doing and know that I love you so much. Bye bye.